Euphoria's second season may be over, but there's still more of Sydney Sweeney to look forward to. There's a Spider-Man spin-off in the works, and the 24-year-old is all set to star in it. Sweeney first shot to fame in 2018 with the Netflix series Everything Sucks, but she's probably best known for being Cassie Howard in Euphoria. But now, she's been cast in the upcoming Spider-Man spin-off. First up, she'll be playing Julia Carpenter, also known as Arcane, in Madam Web. So as it goes, Spider-Man's friend and a former government agent, Cassandra Webb, is getting a movie of her own, which is currently under production. The title role of Madam Web will be played by Dakota Johnson. Sweeney will be in a supporting role. Her character, Julia Carpenter, has served as both Spider-Woman and as the successor to Madam Web. This is according to the source material. It's a bit complicated, we'll explain, but a bit later. But for now, we're really excited about Sweeney's casting. She's already captured the audience's imagination with her fantastic work in Euphoria, and we're super excited to see her suit up as Spider-Woman when the movie releases. And now, let's see who else is in the movie. We'd imagine that having Dakota Johnson and Sydney Sweeney is enough star power for one movie, but it gets better. Madam Web is packed with a host of female stars. Kenyan-American actor Celeste O'Connor is also on the cast. You might remember her from Ghostbusters Afterlife, and we'll see her next in Zach Braff's A Good Person, opposite Morgan Freeman. The movie will also star Isabella Merced, who also starred in the third and latest remake of Father of the Bride. Celeste O'Connor is likely to be playing Maddie Franklin, another Spider-Woman from the comics. Isabella Merced is set to play Anya Corazon, also known as Spider-Girl. And then there's Emma Roberts of Holiday fame. She's best remembered for her different roles in American Horror Story and her lead role in Scream Queens. As for her role on Madam Web, she appeared very pregnant on set and will play the role of Mary Parker. Actor Adam Scott will portray Peter Parker's father, Ben. This means that we're going to be looking at a relatively younger version of the character since the Amazing Spider-Man films. But coming back to Madam Web, it's going to be directed by S.J. Clarkson and will be released sometime in 2023. The screenplay has been written by Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless. But also, let's explore the character of Julia Carpenter, for which Sydney Sweeney has been cast. We'll try to keep this as simple as possible. She's basically the second Madam Web after Cassandra Web. She's a recurring character in the Marvel superhero comics. Carpenter first appeared back in 1984 in Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number 6. She unknowingly becomes a test subject in a mysterious experiment that involves spider and plant DNA. Carpenter gains powers similar to Spider-Man, ultimately joining the Web Slinger to save the world. She fights with Peter Parker and the other heroes when the Secret Wars crossover event occurs. We think that the hair, and actually her whole tough, chic vibe, is going to go so well with the character. Definitely one to add to our list of Marvel favorites, but we'll wait until the film comes out. Also, why are there multiple Spider-Woman characters? Actually, several characters in the Marvel Universe have taken on the role of Spider-Woman, and Julia Carpenter is one of them. The very first Spider-Woman was Valerie the Librarian, and she made her first appearance in the educational TV series called The Electric Company. She was a recurring character in the Spider-Man educational block that helped children learn how to read. She was the first black Spider-Woman and had no superpowers. But hey, teaching is definitely a superpower. But perhaps the best-known Spider-Woman is Jessica Drew. She first appeared in Marvel Spotlight number 32. Drew was given powers and brainwashed by Hydra. She was one of Hydra's best agents before she turned on the evil empire after a confrontation with S.H.I.E.L.D. showed her just how wrong Hydra was. Now that's an origin story we'd like to watch. By the way, there are seven Spider-Women so far, but how does it all come together for this Spider-Man spinoff? Sydney Sweeney's Julia Carpenter could be an important figure in the Madam Web puzzle. She may have received her powers already during 
during the film and could be helping Dakota Johnson's Cassandra Webb in her mission. There's also the possibility that the other Spider-Woman, Maddie Franklin, and Anya Corazon come from a different universe. We feel like this could potentially be hinting at the fact that these characters will work together to protect a young Peter Parker from a dangerous threat. But Spider-Woman or not, we're going to be seeing a lot more of Sweeney in the near future. It seems like we just can't get enough of the Euphoria breakout star. Sweeney will be dominating the spotlight with her upcoming projects, and the one we're most excited about is called The Registration. The movie is based on an upcoming novel by Madison Lawson that will be released on the 27th of September. It's her debut novel, and Sony Pictures has already acquired the rights. Talk about a sweet deal. Not only is Sweeney starring in the movie, but she's also producing it. The young star has had a stellar career so far, earning two Emmy nominations on the way, one for Euphoria and another for The White Lotus. The Registration is a dystopian thriller set in a place in which people can register to legally commit one murder. So our protagonist, Linnell Mize, played by Sweeney, decides to do just that. She registers a man from her past. However, much to her surprise, Linnell finds out that someone has registered her too. With only two weeks until her likely death, she wants to find out who wants her dead. And now, let's look at some more movie news. The Jurassic World trilogy has crossed a major box office milestone. The Dinosaur Park themed movie trilogy has earned more than $6 billion in its total earnings globally. The final installment of the movie trilogy, Jurassic Park Dominion, was released on the 10th of June this year. The second one, called Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, was released in 2018. And the very first one was back in 2015, called Jurassic World. This series is actually different from the earlier movies of the franchise, as it ventures beyond the park and explores the space of the dinosaurs through the perspective of the raptor trainer, Owen Grady, portrayed by Chris Pratt. The latest and final film has currently made about 616 million at the international box office. That makes it the third highest grossing Hollywood flick since cinemas reopened after the pandemic. The original Jurassic World film remains the best performing movie in the franchise. Looks like we just can't get enough of dinosaurs on the loose. We'd be up for more Jurassic Park movies, to be honest. Meanwhile, Chris Rock will not be hosting the Academy Awards next year. The comedian has declined the offer to host next year's Oscar ceremony. He revealed this during a show at the Arizona Financial Theater in downtown Phoenix. It seems that the Academy requested him to host the event for the third time. He hosted the event in 2005 and in 2016 as well. This is following the infamous incident at the 2022 show, when Will Smith slapped Rock on stage after he made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. This happened just as the comedian was about to present the award for Best Documentary Feature, and less than an hour before Smith would receive his Oscar for Best Actor for his performance in King Richard. Apparently, the comedian said that accepting the hosting gig would be like returning to the scene of the crime. He likened it to the O. J. Simpson case, where his ex-wife's killing began with her leaving her glasses at a restaurant. Chris said that going back to the award show would be like asking Nicole Brown Simpson to go back to the restaurant. And finally, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio has a release date. More than a month after we got our first proper glimpse at the film, Netflix has finally announced a date for when the movie will be streaming. And it's going to be just in time for the holiday season. Del Toro's Pinocchio is going to be a dark retelling of Carlo Collati's iconic fantasy tale, and there's going to be a strong musical element to the plot as well. The movie will be coming to the streaming service on the 9th of December, and it just may be the nightmare we need before Christmas. Sure, we love a feel-good holiday movie, but there's something about a dark fairy tale that makes the holiday season just a little bit more chilly. The movie will bring together some 
big names like Ewan McGregor, Kate Blanchett, Ron Perlman, and Tilda Swinton. The film was first announced in 2008, but remained languishing in development until Netflix bought the rights for it. The movie was in production all through 2020, and there was talk of multiple release dates. But now we know for sure. That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited to watch Sydney Sweeney in Madam Web? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.